Well, if you are just starting out using the Gloss Enamels line, I have got a super easy project that is so cute and easy to do, anyone can do it. This little great vine glass that we're gonna create in such a quick, easy time. All right, well, let's have some fun. This is super easy. Real quick, some things that you're gonna need. Paper towel. You're gonna need your glass or your styrene. You're probably working on a glass like this one, but for our viewing purposes today, I'm gonna to be working on styrene. I've got a paper plate. We've got our pouncers. I love these dual side pouncers. They come in three different sizes in our little packs. We've got our crystal gloss enamels with glitter. I've got turquoise, red, and our purple, of course. And then we've also got our brown 3D gloss enamels. So let me get our paint ready. We're gonna make a very, very cute little glass here. I love it. And of course, since it has glitter in it, everyone knows I'm excited. All right. I'm gonna first start off with the larger one. We're gonna do some large grapes first. I'm gonna start with my purple. Dab that over here, make sure I get that in there real well. And there really is no right or wrong way to this. So have fun. Grapes aren't perfect in nature, so we don't have to be either. I'm gonna go ahead and add some other size grapes too in my little cluster before I start adding all my other colors. telling you, you can have a lot of fun. All right, now I'm gonna go back and add my next color. I'm gonna add the blue. If you're fearful that you're gonna blend this too much, just dab it over here on your, your paper towel. But they're gonna blend anyway, so again, you really can't mess this up. Now, I don't wanna really dab it in its, in its entirety into the blue, but if you do, that's no big deal. I'm gonna show you what happens if you do that. If you find that you're like, oops, I've gotten turquoise on the entire thing, just don't press your, um, your brush down all the way. Just do it at an angle like that. So I'm gonna go over those large ones. Have that little hue of blue to the side of it. I like to go in order. I'm actually gonna continue doing that one. I'm gonna use it on these as well. Just a little bit of blue. Got a little bit of red on there. All right, continuing. So much fun. All right, now I'm gonna go back and add my red. I'm gonna get a little bit more of that blue off. And my brush is around here. Again, you don't have to dab this thing, you know, on every bit of it. You can just dab a corner of it because that's really all we're going to be using. Now I've got the blue on this side, so I want to kind of go with the red on this side. I'm going to go ahead and use this one for both the, the big ones and the medium ones. I'm loving it. I'm sure that's off of there. See, I've got that completely on there, but again, really doesn't matter because I can just take the very edge. If you can't tell, I'm pretty pleased with myself so far. <laughs> All right, we're going back over with the purple to really blend it in. All right. And if you want more purple, if you want that purple to really be the predominant color, you can just keep adding. No problem at all. I mean, these are going to turn out perfect regardless. All right, I think my, my grapes are looking very nice there. Now, if I were you, I would let the grapes dry. That way, if you have any problems with your vines using your 3D writer, you can just start over from that point, but you don't have to redo your grapes. The grapes are so much fun. All right, so I'm just gonna shake this down. Again, I wanna make sure I don't touch, just kind of start from above to give myself a, a little bit of area go back there. 
See, perfect example at that point, if you weren't happy and you wanted to start over, you could if the grapes were completely dry. Add some more vines here. Touch that up. You can continue adding more vines if you want, and if you want to continue adding more grapes, have at it. It is so easy, so much fun, and again, it involves glitter. Mm -hmm.